in this short video i want to show you quickly how to check the ph of your lotion the other time i checked the ph of a serum but this one i'm going to check the ph of your lotion to check the ph of your lotion you need a scale you need a beaker or anything you can put your thing what we're going to do is we're going to take one percent of whatever lotion you have okay then we're going to add nine percent water to it so me we're taking one gram of the lotion and we add one uh, nine gram of uh, water to it so let's get started turn on your scale press tear then we're going to put well, make sure you press tear here to reset the scale then we're going to put one gram one gram of any lotion or whatever you are working on and we're going to add uh, nine gram of water to make 10 gram in total it's the same way we checked the pH of our of our serum the other time. But just for people that want to know, you can use this for thick cream also. So after that, you're going to dip in your. If you are using a paper strip, dip in your paper strip and see the reading. Paper strips are not the best for a professional vomit, so I just want to show this to you. They are not the best because they won't give you accurate reading. You see, we don't know which one is which. We just have, you know, this is not what you want to do. Now I'm going to put in my... I'm going to check it with my pH meter, HANA pH meter. If you want the link to look in the description box below for everything I use in this video, so as to know where to get them. Now, you put in your meter, turn on the meter, and wait for the reading. So I assume right now the pH is 5.2. The pH and is very perfect. This is a very good lotion. The pH of the skin is 4.5 to 5.5, so 5.2, it's very okay. And that's how you check the pH of your lotion. Remember, you take one gram of whatever you have, right? You put it in a beaker, then you add, then you add um, nine gram of water to it, then you dip in your pH meter or, you know, do not use this as a professional formulator. If you have this at top now, you just you can't use it to make a professional product. So you need to get yourself a pH meter, a very good meter that I recommend on this channel to everyone is Anna. I've used this for a long time now, and I'm going to I I highly recommend this for everyone. I wish you the best in your job formulation journey. Don't forget check out our YouTube channel. You know, every week for more formulation tips and ideas. Thank you for watching.